Welcome to the weekly checkup on ReachMD for the week of February 29th, 2016. The World Health Organization has declared a state of global health emergency due to the explosive outbreak of the Zika virus. This widespread fear has fueled recent support of a radical technology that has the potential to drive Zika-carrying mosquitoes into extinction. Three U.S. labs are currently working on a gene drive that would utilize gene-sniffing technology to force genetic changes in mosquitoes as they reproduce. Anthony James, a molecular biologist at the University of California, Irvine, believes that a gene drive could eradicate the type of mosquito blamed for spreading Zika within a year. While this gene-sniffing technology, also known as CRISPR, will require extensive lab testing, self-annihilating mosquitoes could spell the end of the Zika epidemic. To learn more about this and similar topics, head to ReachMD.com. ReachMD launches its Focus on Nutrition and Nutrition Science this month with a look into proper diet. Deciphering what constitutes as a healthy diet can be confusing, particularly given numerous and often contradictory research. In the segment, Evidence-Based Trends in Nutrition Research, hear from an internal medicine expert as he puts the latest nutritional information into context. And now for a quick look at some of our latest featured content. Kidney stones are on the rise in the U.S. While historically kidney stones predominantly affect aging Caucasian men, increasing numbers of young adolescents, women, and African-American populations have reported issues. In our new Primary Care Today segment, hear from researchers as they discuss risk factors and changing trends in endocrinology care. In this week's editorial segment, learn how to put your patients at ease in a new installment of Speaking Of with Karen Friedman. Sometimes we convey the wrong message without even knowing it. Our nonverbal behavior and body language may not match our actual words, and that can give off the wrong vibe or tone. Here are a few examples and fixes to go with them. First, folding your arms across your chest or holding them behind your back can give the impression that you're closed off or hiding something. Open arms are more inviting, sincere, and comforting. Two, looking at the computer, chart, or your watch when someone is telling you something important to them suggests that you're not fully present or listening. Instead, look them directly in the eye when they're talking. Stand up or sit up straight when talking to colleagues, staff, or patients. Slouching, leaning suggests that you have other things on your mind. When nonverbal language matches your actual words, your message will be that much stronger. For ReachMD, I'm Karen Friedman. For more featured content, head to ReachMD.com or listen in on any of our recommended platforms. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Marshall Miller, as always, inviting you to be part of the knowledge. Thank you.